Welcome to this week's Independent News from Canada. My name is Ed Johnson. So here's Jack with breaking news. Thanks, Ed. Well, this isn't exactly breaking news because it happened about 90 years ago. But on the other hand, I don't remember this ever being reported in the media, so it's kind of breaking news. The story is that corporate America funded Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. A story that sounds a bit crazy, but the deeper you look into it, it only gets crazier. If you Google Bush Hitler Guardian, the first story you'll see is from the British newspaper The Guardian. The story is titled, How Bush's Grandfather Helped Hitler's Rise to Power. And to quote from the story, The Guardian has obtained confirmation from newly discovered files in the U.S. National Archives that a firm of which Prescott Bush was a director was involved with the financial architects of Nazism. Prescott Bush was the father and grandfather of the two presidents Bush, and the bank he worked for, Union Banking Corporation, was tied into the most powerful U.S. industrialists and corporations of the time in the 1920s and 1930s. Following the war and his support for the Nazis, Mr. Bush served in the U.S. Senate from 1952 to 1963. By the late 1930s, Brown Brothers Harriman and UBC had bought and shipped millions of dollars of gold, fuel, steel, coal, and U.S. Treasury bonds to Germany, both feeding and financing Hitler's rise to power and his build-up to war. But Mr. Bush is only a small part of the story. Many large American corporations worked with the Nazis to help them defeat much of Europe, bomb England, and fight a brutal war against the Soviet Union that killed millions and millions of people. And of course, later on, when the United States entered the war, these corporations could profitably supply all sides as people fought to kill each other for corporate profit. It was win-win for big business. And really, what was it all about? Among the corporations that supported Hitler and fought for the Nazis were IBM, which helped with the concentration camps, Standard Oil, now Exxon, which helped fuel the German war machine and was especially helpful in the bombing of Britain, and Ford, which used slave labor to help build Hitler's military. And as author Bradford Snell wrote, Hitler could not have invaded Poland or Russia without their good friends at General Motors. This is what the corporations will do to make money and keep their power. They will stop at nothing. And they are still doing exactly the same thing today, creating war and trouble and death to make money and keep power. Today, it's widely believed that corporate America funds ISIS, just as it funded Hitler and the Nazis almost a century ago. But if you mention that fact, it sounds crazy because the media, which the corporations own, will never report it. The fact that all of this can be kept secret and our wonderful media, which always pretends to be our friend, will never report the truth, shows just how terrible a situation we're really in. Good luck to us all, and back to you, Ed.